How's it going guys, it's Aaron here at Minnesota Pro Paintball. What we have for you here today is the new loader from Machine Paintball called the Gear Loader. What we're going to do for you guys today is show you some of the features and the ins and outs of the loader, show you how it comes apart, the disassembly and the, fe and the features, and then we're also going to throw it on a gun and shoot it for you so you can see how it performs on top of a gun instead of just doing a normal drop test. As always with something like this, it's a little bit hard to capture everything in one video without losing somebody's attention. So what you can do is you can check the link for the PB Nation review thread in the description below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, never hesitate to ask. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do for you is just a quick little unboxing of the gear. Uh, once we unbox it, we're gonna take it in the shooting range, see how it shoots, and then we'll take it back here and show you the disassembly and show you how the loader comes apart. So first, obviously you got the face of the box. It's got some nice gear themed artwork on there. It's kind of cool. You got the nice uh, glossy machine logo on the top. And on the back, you have all the features, the touch sensor, the feed gate, the battery pack, the button, the feed assembly, the, dis um, the capacity, and the supposed capability of the BPS feeding. And then on each side, you've got kind of a little silhouette of what the loader looks like from each end. So you just slide the sleeve out, get to the box. And then, I mean, the box is pretty plain on its own, just straight black with the silhouettes, like I said. So you just flip that open, and inside, you've got the gear itself and then for anybody that's interested in the bottom of the box there is a nice cool kind of little gear card badge thing there uh, it is glued to the bottom tray there uh, and then there's nothing in the bottom no manual or anything uh, I spoke with machine uh, Drew Spurlock actually he told me that they didn't include a manual because the loader itself is pretty straightforward uh, initially I was a little miffed about it because everybody likes having manuals it's just one of those things that you're used to hearing running a shop but the more you think about it I mean it, it makes sense to not do it it's money they don't need to spend, it's money they don't need to charge you, so it's just the savings that they basically pass on to you. Uh, but that's enough about that. So, we'll take the gear out of the protective paper here, um, and here it is. Now, like a lot of people have been complaining about, yes, it is plastic, it's not, you know, like your rotor or spire material, um, but, I mean, it, it feels durable. It doesn't feel like it's gonna get destroyed on you if you take a bad dive. It definitely doesn't feel like your old school Halo where you snap your feed neck off game one and you take a bad dive into the snake. Um, it is low profile, it's really, really light. Uh, the nice thing I like about it is that the opening is very large, uh, almost similar to a Spire. Not quite as big, but definitely bigger than say a rotor. Uh, so it's gonna be easy to feed paint in there. Um, and then of course the touch sensor on the back with the disassembly buttons right there. So uh, there you have it guys, so that's basically the unboxing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw this on a gun, go into the shooting range, and see how it performs. Alright guys, so we're back here in the shooting range with the gear loader on top of the 3.1. We're going to do two shooting tests for you with this. What we're going to do with the first one is cap it at 12.5 on PSP ramp. And then the second test we're going to turn the rate of fire cap off so we're going to see how it handles an unlimited rate of fire. And in case you guys didn't notice, we do have some of the GI Grill HDR lenses in. Should be a video coming real shortly, so make sure you stay tuned. So, without further ado, let's get to testing.
guys. Uh, I did struggle a little bit, but I think part of that might have been the gun. Uh, so let's get to the disassembly. All right guys, so we're back here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh the gears first and show you guys how much they weigh. I've got one without batteries and one with batteries. We're gonna weigh them first, see how they compare, and then we are gonna do the disassembly and show you guys how they come apart. So we'll weigh the one without batteries first. All right, so it weighs in at just under 14 and a half ounces, so not even a pound without batteries in there. And then the one with batteries, and just to prove to you guys that it does have batteries in it, turn it on. And with batteries, it's just under one pound, two ounces. So even with four double A's in there guys, it's still a insanely light loader. So now what we'll do is we will take it apart and show you how it works. So uh, the nice thing about this is you don't need to open the lid or anything to get the gear apart. Uh, you just pull up on this little switch right here and then press down on this tab and then the top shell comes off. Uh, similar to a rotor, there is a nose piece in the front there where a little ledge will kind of hook into and keep it secured in place. And then to get the tray itself out, you just kind of squeeze on the two sides here, lift up from the front, and the whole thing comes out. And then you have your bottom shell here. Nothing left in there, so we'll just set that aside for now. So then as you can see, you have the translucent kind of smoke colored tray here. Now since it's on, I can show you guys how this feeds a little bit more in detail. So if you swipe, tap, whatever you want to do with the sensor button when it's on, it will feed, just like that. So you can tap it. You can swipe it, you can go up, you can go down, you can go left, you can go right. You can do whatever you want to do. And then to shut it off, you just hold it for a couple seconds, and then you'll see the light go off, and then the loader is off. The batteries are housed in the back of the tray where the button is. Uh, it is a four AA pack harness that slides into a holder that also clips into place, which is pretty nice. You don't have to worry about your batteries coming out similar to like what happened with the V1 rotor where it had a battery tray but it didn't have anything to keep it in place. So when you were jostling it around a lot, sometimes the batteries would come out and your loader wouldn't work. Now, if you want to take the drive system out, what you can do is you take out the screw here that holds in the central arm, and then you flip it over and you take out the screw here, here, and here. You lift up on that plate, being careful not to pinch any of the wires here. This red center arm will lift up, and then all the components will slide out. One thing to take note of is that when you take this out, guys, that the white ring, which is actually a nice rubber, which you can kind of see I can pry away there, is that that just comes right out. So you can clean it off easily and put it back in without having to worry about damaging it or anything. So that is basically the loader there, guys. And we'll just kind of reassemble it here for you quick. And the way you put the tray back in is you put the back in first and then click the front in. And then align the tooth with the opening there and then push down and lock it back into place. So that is pretty much the quick overview for the video purposes. Like I said earlier, if you guys want to check the more in-depth review, you can check the PB Nation link below. As always, if you guys have questions, never hesitate to give us a call, 952-892-1540, or shoot us an email, info at mnpropaypal.com. Thanks for watching, guys. All right guys, so one more thing quick before the end of the video. I had a customer come in while I was wrapping this up and asked me a couple really good questions about it that I totally forgot to cover. Uh, one being, how is the sensor gonna do when you have paint on there? Two is, it's gonna work with gloves. I don't have any gloves, so we're gonna work with a rag. And three is, will an item object say in, I don't know, your gear bag, turn the loader on. So first, let's, uh, let's do the paint, Splare, smear a little bit on there and see what happens. All right, so you got some paint on the sensor. Uh -huh. Okay, nope, so it does work there. Paint still glob down there, I got paint all over my fingers. Still works. So we'll shut it off. Now, let's say this rag is a glove. See if I uh, can turn the loader on. 
That was pretty easy. So all those still work. Shut it off. It's off. And another object. Nothing. Not turning on. Not turning on accidentally. But. Turns on just fine. So, <clears throat> there you have it guys. Uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. And again, make sure you check the PB Nation thread. Or give us a call or shoot us an email if you have any other questions.